the delicious food with Ara. Today we're gonna make pork pugogi. As probably you've been to like Korean um, restaurants or Korean barbecue places, diba ang dami na ngayon ang naghanap ng Korean pork pugogi. So basically, pork pugogi is chili based um, spicy sauce na parang we add a lot of fruits and vegetables like onions, garlic, ginger, apple, and pear base as a sweetness. That's a traditional way of making it. And we use a spicy um, base, chili base, dahil traditionally Koreans before ayon nila ng smell of the pork. So by reducing it, they use chili base for ma subtle yung lasa, para ma retain yung lasa, but without really being obvious with the smell of the pork. So that's how it was before. Of course, you know the way the recipe is very um, easy and complicated at both times. But gladly, right now we can go to Korean groceries and just grab a bottle of a ready-made, um, perfectly authentic, full um, flavor balanced bottle like this, a pork pugogi mix, and you just have to grab your pork. Actually, this is a very thinly, um, thinly sliced pork. Um, it's around two millimeters or could be lesser. Na parang ginagamit for shabu shabu. Ni maninipis lang talaga ng pork, as you can see. Um, almost see through talaga na siya. Like this thinly strips of pork is what we use for pugogi because pugogi basically means um, pool fire kogi meat. So dapat kailangan madali talaga lang siyang maluto. So I have here 500 grams of my pork, very thinly sliced pork. And a small bottle of a mix like this is good for one kilogram or like a good for four. Um, so I'm just gonna use half of this. Madali lang talaga. And of course, always handling meat. What I do is I try to wash it once and then remove the blood by patting it on with a kitchen towel. So I have here a kitchen towel. What I do is I fold it and after washing my pork, I'm just gonna pat, pat, pat like this, just to remove an excess, you know, whatever oil or whatever like blood clots it may have. Dahil yun na papa bahu sa ating karne when not properly handled. And also when you're gonna do like mixes like this para ibaba nyo for marinade, it's always better without the blood as much as possible. Because I'm using a, a bottled marinade like this, I'm just gonna have to mix it up before adding into my pork. And then let's just use like half of this and haluin natin siya ng haluin. And actually, we don't have to add anything else because as the bottle itself is already mixed up with all the authentic flavors, it's already good to be cooked na. The best is really to keep your pork in the marinade for overnight, but at least like an hour would be most recommended. And while I'm waiting for my pork to a little bit sumisip ng lasa ng ating marinade, I'm gonna already prepare my vegetables. Actually, uh, the vegetables are just to really pop up the color of my pork rather than for flavors. So I'm just gonna use half of my onion and a little bit of my carrots and a little bit of my leeks. And you can actually also add cabbage, but konting konting lang. So probably just like you know a handful, a hand size of it, para lang makaroon ng konting vegetable color greenness ang ating pork. And when you're gonna store your pork marinade in the freezer, it's better always to separate yung ating meat sa kanang ating vegetables. Much maganda na if hindi kayo sure kung kailan niluluto in, much better hindi niyo isasama yung ating mga vegetables. Now I'm gonna heat up my pan. Kanya nang talaga siya kadale. And as I wait for it to heat up, all I can do is this optional still, I can add one tablespoon of my garlic. Actually, in the marinade, my garlic na talaga siya, but I just want to have additional, like, extra garlic flavor on my pork. So, yeah, halo ko lang ng isa pang beses before I cook it. So now my caldera is hot na. Um, I would suggest you to use a non-stick pan. However, kung wala kayo non-stick pan, what you can do is um, sizzle your pan with the cooking oil and punasan nyo with a kitchen towel before you use it para medyo magiging non-stick somehow. Now, because my pot is ready, I'm gonna already put in my mixed marinated pork. And don't forget na kailangan ilusan ninyo up or else didikit-dikit talaga siya magiging isang malaking meatball. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of pepper Of course, for your pork pugogi, you can use any parts of the pork you want, kahit liempo, but because of the cost-wise, economic-wise, dahil we're actually just gonna cook it really with a marinade. You can use like the kasim, the pige, or basically the other parts of the pork that hindi masyadong as expensive as the liempo. And good thing not to actually use liempo or else it's gonna be very fatty. And it's still your personal preference kung gusto talaga niya medyo mataba or you want a leaner cut. So it's really up to you as long as it's medyo manipis lang talaga ang ating pork. 
And then let's add in our onions. So for the pork, I want it like charred, na super talaga lutong luto because it gives like parang the aroma of being barbecued. And now I'm gonna add in my vegetables because basically my vegetables is just for the added color. So you can either opt not to or you want to. So I'm gonna add in my cabbage, my carrots, and my leeks. And we just give a last toss before we serve it. I actually want my pork na super cooked na before I add in my vegetables because ayoko yung malatang mga gulay when it comes to like meat dishes. So I want it measured by my vegetables are very alive with its colors vibrant. And the pork, if it gives a parang medyo konting sunog, the chard, it gives an extra layer of flavor. So now my pork and vegetables cooked, it's ready for serving already. Must try recipe! Here is my very easy pork pugogi. It's a little bit of a spicy, but it has the perfect flavor of the sweetness, and I'm pretty sure that your family is gonna enjoy for your Korean barbecue nights. So hope you enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!